Hey, it's Ben here. So here in Photoshop, we're going to have a look at how we create this silhouette-like image of the dog with a colored tint on it. So basically, we're going to begin with this photograph of this dog, uh, and we're going to cut it out and then mask it, and then kind of get it into this other image. So actually, I'm just going to grab this section of this larger image. We'll copy that, and then we'll come in here, and we're just going to paste this in. And so essentially this is the only part of the image that we want. So we want to outline and kind of make a selection of this dog image in the middle. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So use Command and Plus to zoom in. And then we can either use a few different tools. So we can try the object selection tool as a starter here and see how well that does. And actually it's not done too badly along the main outline around the outside here. Um, and we just need to, to kind of modify this a little bit. So there's a couple ways we can modify this. Now we've done, I guess, the heavy lifting with that first tool. So I'm going to come back to the quick selection tool and just zoom in. And really what I'm looking for for this is just to kind of tidy up these edges a little bit. So when I've got my quick selection tool selected with the selection already made, I'm going to hold down the option key and that's going to allow me to subtract from the edge there and then also holding down shift to kind of re-add selections there. Now there's a lot of similarity between the foreground and background image there. So I'm actually just gonna use the polygonal lasso tool just above, and I'm gonna hold down shift just to come along this edge. So I can see the, the kind of edge of the image there, but Photoshop's not quite catching it just cause it's a little bit out of focus. And because the style of image we're creating, we're gonna get away with a little bit of the, the detail of this so we can come round, just scroll around there, hold down shift again. So always holding down shift to kind of add to your selection. And then we could use the quick selection tool here, but actually I'm just gonna go for the polygonal lasso tool. It's one of my favorite tools in Photoshop and it should do the job for kind of what we're looking for here. So we just scroll around here again and just catch all these little details of the edge that were missed in that original object selection that we have. So holding down shift to add to the selection and then holding down option to remove from the selection. So we just keep going around. We've got some areas to add here. So holding down shift to add it. And then holding down the option key on our Mac keyboard or alt to remove the selection. You can see when I'm removing this part of the leg, I'm drawing along the edge of the dog there and then coming way out here away from the edge um, and that will allow me to remove the selection. So I'm going to hold down option again here and we'll just jump in here and tidy this up. Okay, and then hold down shift. Just keep moving around making sure you're getting all the edges. Now we're going to create a layer mask uh, with this image so we can always come back in and modify things if we make any mistakes or things don't go right later on so basically we've got a lot of options for refining and fixing our image so again we'll come down here just get all these different details of that image so just the final few touches here we'll come round Hold down option here. So if I accidentally start drawing here, I can just press escape and that will get me out of that uh, drawing mode with the polygon lasso tool. And come back and we can just keep refining this until we're happy with the edge that we have. So just check this edge up here and that's looking pretty good. Command zero there to zoom to fit. So now once we've got that all outlined, then we can select our layer in the layers panel, and then we're going to use this option in the layers panel to add a layer mask to that layer. And you can see it removes the background. We can do a quick check that everything is looking good. I'm pretty happy with that. And now we're going to add a couple of other layers on here um, to kind of bump the contrast a little bit and then add that colorization to it. So the first thing I'm going to do here now is come to my adjustment layers, and we're going to add a levels adjustment layer. And I'm just going to stretch this out. Now, if you're working on a lower resolution 
monitor, then you might find you need to like double click on some of the other panels so that you can increase the size of uh, panels that you're working on. So I'm going to just mute this image. And you can see it's muting the whole image at the moment, which we're going to change in a second. So I'm trying to make this a little bit darker, but also remove a bit of the, the kind of contrast from it. Now with my levels adjustment layer here, if I right click on this and create a clipping mask, so then it's basically limiting that adjustment um, to the dog itself. So now you can see any adjustments that I make. So if I make it a bit darker, then it's all just happening uh, on the dog itself and I can modify that, increase the contrast a bit or decide whether it's lighter or darker. So I think that's pretty good for what I want. So now I'm going to add another hue saturation adjustment layer this time. So we've got our levels up here and our hue saturation down here. And with this layer, I'm going to use the colorize option. And then I'm going to right click here and again, create a clipping mask that is going to restrict that color change. So for my hue, just to the dog itself. So you can see now I can make that color change just the dog. I can choose how dark it is, how light it is, and how much that color is there. Now, when I'm doing this, if I make it a bit darker, increase the saturation, then I can also come to that layer below as well. And I've got some properties here that will allow me to kind of change how much detail there is in that too. So between the levels adjustment layer and the hue saturation adjustment layer, you can decide how much of a pure silhouette you want your image to be. So it could be a pure silhouette by moving these two out points together, or we can have a little bit of detail in there and we can kind of change the way that image flows by modifying these different elements. So you can find that right balance for you and then you can always come back in and modify the hue so you get the, the color that you want, which I quite like this color just here. So the nice thing about this is that we can try these out. We can see if we like it. We can see if it works better with or without some of those adjustment layers. They're all always editable. So we can always turn them on and off. So real nice way of working there. The other way that we can do this as well to kind of get some color just into that area of the image is if I add a new layer here and right click and create a clipping mask. So again, this is in this group of clipping masks. I can grab my brush tool. I'm going to increase the size of my brush. Just right click and we'll ramp the brush up to let's go for like 1500 or something like that. So a nice big brush. So now you can see, um, I'm just going to undo that. If we come to our swatches here, let's select the red here. We can paint red over this dog. And because it's in that clipping mask, it's basically remaining within that section. So you can see on my layer down here, I've got a big blob of red, but because of this clipping mask option, it's keeping that color within that uh, space. And now with the red in there, I can use my opacity again to kind of reduce the amount of color that is coming onto that layer below. So I can change the opacity of that layer, or I can use things like darken, multiply all these different uh, kind of options for adjusting the, the color of the layer um, below that color layer. So we've got things like color here as well. So with this layer, if we use the color option, it's quite a nice one because it means we can add different colors into that same area. So we can have this kind of gradient uh, within that uh, space too. So we get some nice interesting options when we start to play with these different layers. And I'll just double click on properties there so you can see the layer stack that I've got. So I've got my circles here. I've got this ellipse, which I don't need. Um, and then I've got this kind of stack of layers um, of different options for playing around with the color of that image behind. So you can see some of them will do different things depending on how the layer is set up in the background. So that's how to set this up um, in Photoshop. So how to get that kind of silhouette look in Photoshop. If you have any questions, then leave a comment below and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.